taking my bike too? Excuse me. Excuse me, you. I need to, I need to shoot a few videos on your bike before uh, you yeah. leave it. Oh, okay, you mate. You yeah, mate. Before it goes to France. As long as you ask me before, that's all right. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. One day, maybe one day. Uh, what's going on, guys? Welcome to a new video. Today we are leaving from my mate uh, Shashank, and we are just going for a short ride towards east. Is it? No. I think so. It's we're I heading east. Okay. It's towards Kaziranga. Yeah. Okay. So it is east. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's taking his, uh, his beautiful uh, sport bike and we have a professional photographer today, Mr. Neil. Hi. So it's good. Well, I never attended like a um, photo shooting, so to speak. And we have the Turkish princess here. Hello. Hello, how are you? Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see guys, I did finally get this one back. Um, I had a battery issue, so since pretty much Christmas, Christmas since I uh, left the bike here, um, I already had some, you know, uh, underlying, let's say, battery issues in the past, and it just died, you know, over three months. Although Shashank just put it on charge, but so I needed a new battery, and it's all done. However, today that's not going to be my ride. I'm going to be riding this one here because, uh, yeah, we're just going to make some cool, cool videos. Uh, but we need we need a car to take the photographer. So you're going to be Neil. You're gonna be doing some something from the boot. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you need you need a good driver. I'll try not to, you know, <laughs> <laughs> swerve too much. Otherwise, it's gonna be. Don't do. Yeah. Oh, you need a French car as well. A Renault. Yeah. Okay, that's that's a good match. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we, have, we have Renault too. Yeah. So a little introduction of that bike. What it is first of all? So this is a Panigale V4. Okay. It came track ready from the factory. Okay. I bought it like that. Uh, it basically came with track fairings and everything. So I just put in headlights for road use. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of um, like you know modded stuff on this bike. Uh, starting off with, uh, uh, you can see this is a tank extender. Yes. Because when you brake so hard and that we brake from 300 plus kilo, yes. 320, 330. So we go in the front because there's a lot of uh, pressure, yeah. a lot of g-force driving yeah. us to the front. So this stops us. So there's less of the core movement, less exactly. of the Exactly. So you work out less. Yes. Yeah. So you can ride more laps with yeah. the same aggression. Then there's uh, this full system Akrapovich exhaust. Mm -hmm. It's a titanium one. Okay. And this costs somewhere around six and a half Indian rupees. Six and a half lakh. Just for Indian the exhaust rupees. system. Just for the exhaust and six the map. and a half lakh. Yes. Wow. That's pretty much the Hey, it's more than the cost of my bike. <laughs> Then uh, we got some uh, protector sliders, uh, yeah. not to crash the fork, not to damage oh, the fork oh, sliders. Okay, so sliders for the fork, but not sliders yes. for the bike, for the body. No, because in track what happens if you have a, a slider protruding out and when you have a fall. You might flip. Yeah, if you touch the curb with that slider, the yeah. bike starts flipping. Yeah. So Makes sense. And then there's a lot of carbon fiber stuff, fancy carbon fiber. Yes. Oh, plus I've got these wheels. These are Marcicini uh, aluminum wheels. Yeah. Forged aluminum. Yeah. And they cost somewhere around five and a half lakh rupees. Jesus Christ. So, okay. And what is that stuff here? That's the Olin's uh, TTX GP shock. So this comes from the V4R. This is a pure race shock. You, It's not meant for the road. But then just because I'm putting road tires on it and riding it on road, so I'll not take this out because it looks too good. And you were saying something, I uh, think about that particular stuff. It's all about getting more flexible in your settings. Yes, so you have a bigger spectrum now for okay. adjustment okay. of your bike. So um, suppose you want it on the softer side, you have a lot of soft settings. If you want it on the harder side, you have a lot of hard settings. So it's like the adjustment range is too big. So that's why Olin charges that much for this. It's one and a half lakh rupees for that shot. Beautiful, man. And what about that helmet? That's a beauty too. So this is the X-Lite X803. Uh, it's not the RS model. I okay. have one RS also, I sh uh, cracked the shell. Yeah. So this is like the normal X803. Yeah. It's the lightest helmet in the world. Jesus Christ. Just hold it. Yeah, it's so it's light. Just that. So with a lighter helmet, you can actually perform better because you're always leaned over yep. and the entire pressure of the helmet comes rests on your spine. Okay. So with a lighter helmet, you can perform better for a longer period of time. Fantastic. And uh, so all up, how much are we looking at uh, for this little and beast? This old steering damper is also there. Ah, we're this not done with manual, the... Uh, no. This is a manual adjustable uh, Olin steering damper. Okay. We can adjust how much the handle moves from left to right. Okay. And how much free play you want. This costs something around 70,000 rupees. So everything included, the bike and all the mods and all the maps and everything included, 
like the air filter and stuff we have we are looking at somewhere around 35 lakh rupees i guess 35 to 40 lakh yeah it's uh, it's a beautiful bike i'm not surprised honestly yeah um i'm not much uh, race bike myself but you know one day if i can afford it i would definitely have something like that because it's yeah, so yeah, just to look at you know yes. just looking at how i could pay 35 lakh for that but uh, I, I just don't have them yet <laughs> you'll have it soon enough driving a car in india is no joke man <laughs> it's no joke but no it's okay because there's no traffic but back in in Guwahati, it was yeah. Yeah, you really have to be careful you know i'm very comfortable riding bikes now but a car is a complete different matter different. because the traffic is coming from all around you and you are much wider obviously you always have to use your sixth sense yeah, <laughs> that's true, and you have to ride straight. Really, you know, yeah. you can't, you can't, like, you know, like swerve much or anything because otherwise you're gonna hit a rider yeah. or two. So you don't know from where one guy comes and hit you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's another adventure. <laughs> another totally. adventure in India, to drive. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, they are just chilling. Just look at their face. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so we made it just past the Meghalaya border so we are actually now in Meghalaya just on the side of the of the highway as you can see we stopped here quickly so now the our good friend Neil the um, cameraman is gonna jump in the boot I'm gonna be driving and uh, Shashank is gonna be riding what a beast eh? honestly look at that such a nice bike honestly and from behind as well I love the light See that? So cool. So we're gonna try to make some cool shots uh, of him. So let's see. Let's do it. So now it's coming. Listen, listen. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Vlogging while driving. <laughs> not good, not good. Take this back. The noise this bike is making is insane. Superboy! <laughs> oh, 
Bunde, Bunde. Yeah. So check that out, guys. You start the bike. Everything is loading up. You get the digital screen. And now let's start it. Let's go. That is so loud! <laughs> wow! Am I speaking loud now? Because <laughs> I'm half foot deaf. That is such a nice sound. Well, I, well, I don't even. I, it's not that I don't want to ride it, to ride the bike because it's very tempting. But I'd be scared. I'd be scared of killing myself on it. Yeah. No? It's so. So sensitive. powerful, yeah. yeah the, powerful. The, the torque must be on yeah. real oh. on that bike. I one day I'll try it. One day? He wanted me to try it now, but I don't know, I don't feel very comfortable. Yeah, and we're wearing shorts way. as well. Look yeah. at the, okay, let's get let's go. Uh, one day I will buy one this day. For me? Yes. Okay, you you all heard that guys. She's gonna buy that bike for me one day. But the small one. Yeah, the small version. <laughs> So that's it guys, we just stopped by a coffee shop. We're just gonna have a quick coffee and then head back towards Guwahati. It was a really cool thing to do. I I had to I needed some time to adjust a little bit, you know, with the driving. Uh, but it was quite cool to follow him and make some cool shots. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So the good news is uh, today Saturday on Monday we'll be applying with Saliha to go back towards Arunachal but different parts. So hopefully if everything goes well. Uh, mid next week, we'll uh, head back there. So I'll see you then. Firmelinge.